a lot of the time before you go out uh, you have to kind of know the location uh, before you go out and pick a specific spot to go and you know go do some pickup do some uh, cold approach do some day game now obviously here this is the one of the busiest areas uh, I'm in Sydney CBD you can see there's a lot of flow there's a lot of people around me I guess you can see over there there's a lot of people crossing the road uh, but let's just say you're new to the city and you don't know what locations are the busiest. Let's just say uh, different times of day, it's busier than others. And uh, one of the OGs in Sydney, he's just discovered this new, it's a small little hack, it's a tiny little hack, but uh, it's very effective. I've been trying it out myself. Is that uh, if, you, if you look at the thumbnail, uh, it shows uh, when you go to Google Maps and you look at where you are and look at where you want to go, uh, look at the whole city of say Sydney or where whatever city you're in that still works you can figure out which are the busiest areas what stations are the busiest uh, where there's the most amount of people walking around and so let's just say you're, you're in a city and you don't know it very well or you're new to day game in your own city if you're new to day game in your own, own city and you you want to go out and meet some girls and you're like where are they um, one way to start and it's been quite effective I've been trying it out myself is go to Google Maps and have a look at where those little uh, kind of orangey creamy logos are saying this area is busy right now on Google Maps and that can be your location where you get the highest flow uh, and therefore you can get a lot more approaches in now obviously uh, I've said this many times in the past that the highest flow doesn't mean the highest rate of success uh, if you're relatively new going to the highest flow area is quite good because you can get a lot of approaches in because you you're relatively new to it so you know you're really playing the numbers game at that point and uh, more approaches means more experience therefore you can hone your skills now the thing here is let's just say you're uh, you're going through a bit of a, a dry spell and you want to put out a bit of a spam session well you can put out a bit of a spam session by checking out Google Maps and figuring out where the the most amount of people are and then go spam it up there so uh, next time you go out for a DG session uh, this is a not just a quick little tip I think it's quite helpful uh, I recommend you check out Google Maps first and figure out if the location that you're going to is busy enough and there's uh, uh, enough volume of girls to approach uh, and that might save you a lot of time there, there's been times where uh, even myself I know Sydney back back to front I know every spot that is perfect to do day game uh, but you know sometimes I've gone to a certain location at a certain time and it's been quiet there's there's been hardly anyone there and um, if I had the tool back then of checking Google Maps and seeing where the, the highest flow most volume busiest area is might have saved me some time and it might save you some time listening to this little hack uh, a few of the OGs of uh, cold approach in Sydney have been using it to um, great effect and um, They've been talking about it recently, so I thought that I would bring it to everyone else's attention. It's a great little hack. So anyway, if you're new to day game or you're, you're learning how to pick up girls and you're a single man, uh, more particularly if you're in Sydney, check out the website. Top link in the description. Check out my website. I've got over 300 articles there where you can learn cold approach, uh, day game. And um, on top of that, uh, if you're relatively new and you've hit a bit of a, a cold or dry spell, uh, you don't know where to start, uh, you're getting into the groups and all the, the wings that you're meeting are just weird <laughs> and they're not having results themselves. You go meet up with them and you go for these marathon walks and they, they, uh, they end up becoming uh, theory junkies that just want to tell you everything except for actually taking some action. Well. I recommend that you check out the website, go to the bootcamp or immersion pages, fill out the coaching request and uh, do some coaching with myself. If you like this tip too, give this a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.